Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about the process to bind an ELRS receiver to the radio. These just happen to be two of the PWM versions. This one's the one from Beta FPV. This one is the Matec one that includes a variometer. So we are going to go through the process. I'll show you how to do it and how it all works. And then I'll go through the three or four common gotchas that I'm coming across that pilots are bumping into. So the trick with this is that in the early days of Express LRS, some of the hardware particularly in the receivers, was a bit fast and loose with the standards from the uh, bits and pieces. The second is that the ELRS project itself is updating very, very quickly. And sometimes that can mean you can get in a little bit of trouble. So let's go through the binding process and show you how to do it. To bind on the radio, you can actually use the module at the back, there's a menu on here that you can select and go through, but let's use the Lua script because I would always recommend using that because the Lua script has lots of cool information on it. Now, what we're gonna do is press and hold the system button. We're gonna scroll around to the bottom and for version 2.x and later, you want the Express LRS one. Don't use this one if you're on version 2.0 or later of Express LRS, the ELRS one was really for the version one stuff. So run Express LRS on the radio and that will populate. There's all the information that you need and then put the cursor on the bind ready to rock and roll. Now to put the receiver into bind mode, something like this is pretty straightforward we just need to power it three times very quickly let's go into bind mode and we'll see the led change to show us that it's ready to bind if you're ever not sure about what that looks like there's this address here which is expresslrs.org 2.0 quick start led status and it shows you the different things so we have the slow Blink means it's waiting for connection for the transmitter. The fast blinking is Wi-Fi mode enabled. And then we have the double blink, then a pause is binding mode enabled. And that's the one that we're looking for. So on the bench, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, I've got a battery powering a five volt BEC. Uh, I'm just gonna plug this in three times very quickly. One, two, three. And then when it powers up, hopefully you can see there, we have two blinks and we're gonna hit bind. And then there we go, it should be that quick. The light goes solid on the receiver and we're in business. We know we're in business. If we come out of all of this, we can see the receiver here at the top, you know, we have full five bars cause it's there. That is how easy it should be. However, there are a number of things that are gonna stop this from working. First and foremost is the same frequency. Now, the thing about ELRS is that if we just go back into the system menu, let's go back into the Express LRS pieces. One of the things that you might notice is that Express LRS comes in several different flavors. There's the 2.4 gigahertz, which is what all my other stuff is here. There's also the lower frequencies, the 915868 megahertz. The receiver has to be the same frequency as the radio module that you have in your radio. If it's not, it won't bind. So that's the easiest thing to check. First of all, make sure that you're buying the same receiver style as the module that's in the back of the radio. Second thing that you'll find is there is something called a bind phrase. Now, the bind phrase is something that you can set where it's like a password that you have maybe on the Wi-Fi at home. So the radio and the receiver has to have the same bind phrase. Now, lots of the receivers that I've had in recently, the bind phrase is blank. However, some of them, like for example, this one here, the Matec PWM receiver has come with a binding phrase of one, two, three, four, five, six. The binding phrase has to be the same on both of them, otherwise it won't work. Where you set the binding phrase is unfortunately it's in the configurator. When you go to flash the device, so let, let's say for example, we're gonna flash um, HGRC 2.4 and we're gonna do the receiver. Um, there's lots of different options for flashing the thing, but in the device options down here, we have the option to have a binding phrase uh, on and off. 
Now this binding phrase is kind of hard coded into the firmware that you create that's then flashed onto the receiver. So if you want to change it, unfortunately it does mean flashing the receiver with a new bit of firmware, but that isn't too tricky. But I would be aware of that. That's one of the first things that I do with receivers. I tend to reflash them with the latest version of Express LRS using this configurator. I'll put a link to where you download it below and you kind of set everything up. The way that I update it, I don't do build and flash, I just do build and then the file is available for you to use with things like the Wi-Fi access point that we'll have a look at in a second. So if you have the bind phrase the same on the radio and the receiver, if you also have the same frequency, so it's a 2.4 gigahertz receiver with a 2.4 radio module, what else can you check? Well. Let me show you something quite cool. If we just power off the receiver, so it will power off the radio. What we'll do is we'll power on the receiver and what will happen after a period of time, it's just sat there single flash waiting to connect to the radio, but I'm not gonna connect the radio. We're just gonna let it time out. After 60 seconds, it's going to create a Wi-Fi access point. And that will then allow us to connect to it and to look at all the settings. And that's also how I do my updating as well for the receivers to change things like the passphrase. So here we are, we're now flashing away like crazy. We can go on the computer. Now, if we look in the Wi-Fi stuff, we can see this Express LRS receiver. Let's connect to that because that is actually, this page is coming directly from the receiver. And then what we'll do, and then here we go. We're now actually looking at the Express LRS page. Now this is coming again from the receiver. Um, I would, the, the default address is usually this 10.0.0.1. So if you go on here, you can see the receiver module. You can see which firmware you need to download it uh, for if you want to update things. You can even see here that the firmware version as well. Now, the thing that we need to make sure is that the, the receiver itself and the radio is also on the same version, major version of Express LRS, otherwise they won't talk. So if your radio is on Express LRS version 1.0, maybe you've had it a long time and never updated it. If you get a receiver that's on Express LRS version 2.0, 2.2, 2.4, whatever, guess what? They will not talk. So they have to be on the same version. This works because on my radio, the transmitter is on Express LRS 2.2. And this is on firmware revision 2.0, so the talk. Now it will still bind if it's things like the radio's 2.0 and the receiver's 2.4. So long as the first number, the major revision number is the same, they should connect fine. So that's the third thing to check, to make sure that not only they're on the same frequency, so these are both 2.4 gigahertz devices, make sure that the binding passphrase is the same, also make sure that the same version of Express LRS major version is on each end. It doesn't matter if this is on 2.0 and this is 2.4 or vice versa, they will still talk to each other. If they're not, then what you can do is you can go into the configurator, you can then create the, uh, the file to update it with the settings that you want with or without the passphrase that you use. I don't use uh, binding phrases here personally. Then select build, it will save the firmware file onto your computer. And then what you can do is in here, you can actually then just upload it onto uh, the receiver, click update, and it will do all the update stuff. So once that's done, we have most of the same uh, stuff all sorted out. So we have, they're both 2.4, they're both on the same version of Express LRS, they both have the same binding phrase, or they both don't have a binding phrase. The last thing to check is whether or not you have model match enabled. Now model match by default, if it's set to anything else apart from 255, is something that you're going to have to work on to get set up. If you're struggling to bind, one of the things that I would recommend you do is access the Wi-Fi point on your receiver and set it to 255, because if it's 255, then it will work fine. This is a way to make sure that it will all um, only activate the receiver if the right model memory is selected, and it's a great feature. However, 
To find out whether or not this is your problem, you just come here and set it to 255. That will make disable the feature and make sure that that's not the problem. So those are the four things that I would check. If you are struggling to bind Express LRS receiver, make sure it's on the same frequency, make sure it has the same binding phrase or that both sides don't have a binding phrase at all. Make sure that the version of Express LRS is the same major version. So they're both on 2.x or both on 1.x. And also make sure that things like the model match is either all set up perfectly, or if you're not sure, I'd set it to 255 just to rule that out as the problem. Hopefully that means that you can bind your receivers and away you go. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.